Greetings and love and kindness, family. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare educator and host of the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. Every Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Community, this is your time to share your wellness stories and how you move from disease care to conscious self health care. I want to hear your story. We want to hear from you. Join the conversation each Wednesday. Call in and share how you shift out of chronic disease care stress. Right here on InnerLightRadio.com, the healing frequency. This is Dr. K, and I am looking forward to our conversation. So call in and share. Health is consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. Come on, family. It's time to rock the world with the new frontier of conscious self-health care. Why I share my wellness story with you right here on InnerLightRadio.com, the healing frequency. Taking those deep, 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 deep breaths. Are you moving? Physically or mentally? Take a deep, 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 deep Kundalini breath. Deep breathing. Thank you for tuning in. 626 2019. 626 2019. How you feeling, family? It's your free. Thank you for coming to dance with me today. Thank you for taking that deep, 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 deep kundalini breath with me today. Thank you for sending that energy out into the universe. And for those of you that meditate and deep breathe and get into that state and send those vibrations out through the week, every day, I thank you. Ah, 6-26-2019. Thank you so much. Deep breathing. Take yourself higher. Take yourself in a higher, higher, higher state. And when you're in that high state, you can just relax and tune into yourself. Through the magic of your own inner wealth, that own inner conversation that you have with yourself. How you doing, fam? How you doing out there? Ah, oh, it's been an exciting week. Actually, it's been an exciting three weeks for me. You know, I'm telling you, the body is in a rejuvenating, is in a healing, is a, in a restoring state. And, oh, yes, I've been feeling some vibrations and I've been feeling the muscles, uh, go into all kinds of positions. Uh, I even feel like, um, I was just saying today, like it's like an electrical storm, but it's not a bad storm. Um, it's like everything is beginning to open the up on this right side that experienced this stroke. You know, I got so much fluid I have removed from the body. I celebrated myself this week. I'm going to share that post with you. And uh, I'm just in this state of, you might hear it in the tone of my voice. It's like, it's not as exciting, um, but it's it's uh, relevant to where my body is today. And y'all know, once I came back on the radio, I said that I was not going to not do a show no matter how I felt. So I am definitely in a healing blessing state that's <laughs> what I'm going to call it because we don't call it crisis when you know what you're doing and when you are your own wellness doctor and you're creating a plan to bring your body back into balance you know that you're going to feel some things that may seem out of balance but it's a part of your body becoming in balance and that's where I am right now and it's a beautiful stage to be in considering where I'm coming from with this build up of excess fluid and excess sodium from the brain all the way down to the feet that's what a stroke is when it happens to your body your whole body is inflamed inflammation overwhelming you know it's almost like an internal combustion things going on and so on the body is correcting itself for um and the next phase the next level of me moving forward from um having a stroke so how you doing how was your week did you sit back and did you take those deep deep kundalini breaths through the week just for yourself 
not because somebody came in your pathway and brought you something, but because you're in the mindset of being your own wellness doctor. You know, you got to take that time through the day. Just just step back and and rejuvenate the oxygen and circulation in the body because we know the form of the oxygen pumps, electricity equals power. And y'all know I'm in that, I'm, just, I'm talking about that electrical state right now. <laughs> That's how my body is. Uh, when I first came back on the radio, the the vibration of um of I mean, look, we wasn't even on air yet, and I put the headphones on, and the vibrations just the just there that we can't see, uh, just went through my body like like before when I first came back on the radio, I couldn't stand the earphones, so I'm there today, but I can tolerate it. But that's just the state that my body is in. So I'm going to sit back and I'm going to read the information that I have prepared today and uh, and just go forward because, like I said, I said I wasn't going to not do a show. And I did have a co-host, but I don't have him right now because he's going through some health challenges himself right now. And uh, so he's making his adjustments. And uh, so I'm back to ah, taking those deep breaths and continuing on sharing with you the truth of how we move through whatever cellular malfunctions that we have created. Um, sometimes we have to go to work. We have to still deal with the family, with the kids and everything. And how do we do it? We do it by keeping ourselves in a state of balance, of peace and harmony. And, um, Restoring ourselves because we know that we are in that repairing stage. We know that we are regenerating, we rejuvenating. We know what's going on with our body. We're not in a disillusion state. We understand what's happening because we're doing it naturally and we're doing it pharmaceutical free. Because when we give our body the proper nutrients, uh, enzymes, proteins, everything that it needs, this makes these ships on its own. Just like I said, right now it's like, I'm, I, it's kind of crazy, but it's like I can understand why I feel like electrical storm going on and I'm getting different kinds of pulsations of like lightning striking some lightning all through here because things are beginning to open up. My shoulder on the side was so stiff for such a long time. It's like it was a cast all the way down to my waist. And you remember me talking about how I got my waist back, a lot of fluid left my waist, left my hips and things like that. But well, now that lower body cavity and um um, my top shoulder, all those things are beginning to break up. And like I said, I'm feeling this electrical storm, but uh, I know it's all for the good because I know what I'm doing as my own wellness doctor. I'm conscious of what things can occur. And so where I was going to play some music today and just sit back and just take my deep breaths along with you as you sitting back thinking about your life and what's going on and what you've been doing, the universe said to me, you didn't finish during the completion of the part series that which you was doing for the nerve force. That's what you're going through. So you need to finish up that chapter. So I'm going to finish up that. I'm going to share some other information with you while we sit back and take a deep, relaxing breath. Where you want to start from family, how you want to breathe. You want to breathe through the mouth. You want to breathe through the nose. You want to hold everything in and let it permeate internally. There's so many, many breaths, many, many ways to do it how you feel, what you feel like you want to do. Just take the breaths. Take a moment and think about yourself. If you've been giving your power away or maybe it's time for you to congratulate yourself because you stopped giving your power away, you stopped responding so quickly, giving your body those little mini shocks when somebody wants to aggravate you. So you are honoring yourself today because you've broken free of that and you're living in an um, atmosphere of, of peace and harmony for yourself, no matter what's going on around you and no matter what somebody brings to you. You're able to bring that balance to yourself and honor who you are. And that's what we have to do, be a blessing to ourselves. So thank you for tuning in to the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. I'm your host, Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare Educator, helping you understand what your body symptoms are saying to you. This information will rejuvenate your thoughts to live a stress and disease-free life with Conscious Self Healthcare Moves. We're talking about mental observation view is essential for self-success. So I often say, how can I help? Health education for longevity and peace. How can I help you slay your health care fears? False education accepted as reality. False evidence appearing real because it's time for us to face everything and rise to the occasion of who we truly are, our divine selves. And that's what we do here on the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. You're having a conversation with yourself. You assist on yourself with shifting out of whatever state that you have uh, allowed yourself to go in. And how do you do that? 
self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-assurance, all the powerful words when you put self in front of them becomes very powerful for yourself because love, the laws of vibrational energy, it's a power that brings my and your entire life together. It heals, renews, restores, and empowers me you with divine energy and life, anyone that focus on the true essence of love. So I am, you are, but when we both say I am for ourselves, love in action, you become a master of positive self-expression because you're vibrating to that truth of, of love, oneness. So we are here to be givers and receivers of love. And when your body is in that state and you have to know when you're in that state, that you need to set back and give yourself what? Abundance of self-love, self-joy. And that is bringing laughter into your life, thinking about a time in your life that was grand, thinking about things that you have done, things that people have said to you, how you felt, to keep yourself in that state of oneness, of peacefulness. You have to be the one to do it, to allow it to happen. It's that way with anything and everything that we do in life. So thank you for coming and joining me as you rewrite your personal health care prescription plan, thinking about everything that you've done, everybody that you've listened to, if you're taking pharmaceuticals, if you're taking this, if you're taking that, you're doing a reevaluation. You're looking at what you've been doing and where you are and if things are truly working for you and do you need to make any adjustments. We must become our own personal health care physician and all it means is learning anatomy and physiology and understanding what's happening to the body with the names of the diseases that they say they are whatever they are it's a condition that's going on and nine times out of ten which is ten out of ten it has a lot to do with the lymphatic system not being able to purify that particular area of the body so that's why here on the Conscious Self Healthcare Education Show, we're talking about taking that deep, deep breath. We're talking about supporting that lymphatic system, the purification system of the body. And that is what I'm doing right now as I just felt a storm of lightning <laughs> go through my body. And while these things are happening, I'm in, I'm in that state of the heart vibration, you know. It's like I got the imagination. I might can see the lightning bolts but I know that it's for a good reason. It's not destructive. And so my imagery, I shifted, even though I'm feeling this vibration. I say, wow, you're doing your job. You're clearing something up. You open it up. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that vibration. So with my attention on it or if not having attention, I'm manifesting a reality. So I'm putting that manifested in the image of my body as getting into a better state of purifying itself. That means I've moved a lot of excess fluid and excess sodium into my nerves. I'm beginning to feel this own vibration as I begin to find out the direction to get them coats back on them nerves. But I don't know. It's kind of crazy, family, because um, I like feeling the feeling of what I know energetically and through my um, my own vibration of who I am um, that I bring forth, um, the way I can sense and feel and, and hear the vibration of sales. I mean, being in the state, I mean, I can just touch something and, and it seems an, an animated object, but I feel the vibration from it on the side. And when I touch it with the other side, I don't feel anything. So it's amazing time as my body is healing, adjusting to be in this state of this nerve, you know. And like I say, the universe is something else when they sent me to um, pick up this book by um, Paul C. Um, Bragg. Nerve Force. I, I don't recall the book being a part of my library, but it was there and it was telling me to pick up. And why not? Because that's the state that I am. That's what I'm asking the universe for to assist me as I assist my body was making this adjustment from the shock that it had. And so what I'm going to do right now, since I was seemed like rambling on a little bit, hopefully that it was making conscious sense in the conscious of healthcare understanding. Because like I say, y'all don't know, this body's going like, woo, right now, faster than the train. <laughs> and it just gets me because it feel like a balloon state, one of them big old balloons and even the balls of my feet feel like I'm walking on a balloon. And it's just amazing to me. But uh, I'm blessed and I'm thankful and I'm not in a state of worry or, or frustration or all these strange things are happening. So what's going on? No. Rewriting my personal health care prescription plan based on what, ha what, what has happened. 
So like me, you are the mass of your thoughts and mind. You tell your mind what to think. You tell your feelings what to feel. You tell your body how to react. So I say, you know, master your mind, master your feelings, master your thoughts. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> You must tell your holographic image, and I'm talking to it, what to do, how to act, and how to think. And I'm telling you, I call it sanity because it's working. There's nothing insane about it. That's how I'm able to do this show with these earphones on my head, feel a vibration, and also feel the love in the air that everybody's giving out. So sit back, take a deep breaths. We're going to listen to a commercial station break and listen to one of my favorite songs, a um, song by a young girl that did uh, what one of those um, shows where, you know, you, you audition to win. So we might hear some little talk before her song. But uh, I like this song and uh, I need the good vibration. So, Jamal, can we run that commercial? Then y'all sit back and take those deep breaths <sighs> and focus on yourself. Relaxing, enjoying those vibrations, self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-assurance, honoring yourself. Whew. Do you feel lost? Do you feel out of sync? Could it be that you are experiencing electromagnetic sensitivity? Yes, electromagnetic sensitivity. Could man-made frequencies interfere with cellular activity and melatonin production? We are beings of frequency, light, and information, and you are your own experience. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of man-made mindset of human consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Schedule your Nest ProVision Human Body Field Scan with Dr. K, 202-248-7749. Visit the website, ForSaleLife.com, the number 4, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E.com. Have the courage to expand your horizon and reprogram your cellular activities. Call Dr. K for your 15-minute wellness consultation, 202-248-7749. We need love and unity that will make a better community. Oh, let's go one another. My sister and my brothers, come on, let's help one another. All of my sisters and my brothers, let's show love and respect. Always remember, never do this is a love.
That's a metaphor, a metaphor for working in harmony and peace with yourself, yin and yang, male and female, coming together as a whole. In that physical realm with your partner, it's great to be one, to be a team, but you got to be one with yourself. You got to be whole within yourself. You hear me talking about the separation in the body, how one side, when you have a stroke, one side feels and the other side doesn't. But I have to look at my body as a whole, and you have to look at yourself as a whole, and your partner has to look at themselves as a whole. And when you do that, then you become together as a better hold of each other. And that circle that's shaped like a heart, the heart vibration from each of you, building each other up, holding each other up, making each other's life comfortable. So you heard what I do from the commercial. If you're interested in stepping up to quantum health and healing, you can connect with me through my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-C-A-R-E.com. What the Nest Health Human Body Field Test is sharing with you, it really is saying at this time there is a match to an information correction. There is a match to a pattern concern of information, how the information is being processed in the body. Is it going down the right path? Is it connecting with the the right cell? Is it producing the right outcome? All Nest Health tests are actually saying a match to a positive correction. So when we scan you and we see what's going on with your body, you don't want to look at it as a negative. You look at it as a positive of the information that's needed from you through the energetic vibration, through infraceuticals, to assist your body with being in the right pattern of, of operation. And you can do that with the product, or you can do it consciously within yourself. It's rather than saying there is an issue, like a disease name, you want to focus on the positive of that. What is it saying your body needs? That's what I'm doing. See yourself as having a cellular malfunction rather than a disease issue. Become your own wellness doctor and step above the dark ages of disease care. No one knows you better than you, so you can trust your human body field scan because it's repeating and sharing with you what's going on in your human body field as well as your biochemical structure. And that's why we say here on the Conscious Health Healthcare Conversation Radio Show, come on, shift out of chronic disease care stress with me anytime. From anywhere in the world, you can schedule your Nest Scan with me. Buying that simple device will support you, your family, your friends, and your pets. We scan pets as well. We all have a human body feel, just like our plants, just like everything else that's of a living vibration on this planet. And as a reminder of um, Beverly, <clears throat> Beverly Rupik, um, a researcher, One important feature of living systems, distinguishing them from the non-living domain, including machines, is the large number of intricate pathways along which information, information flows between all levels of organization, both ascending bottom up and descending top down. One limitation of conventional biomedicine, that's conventional medicine, conventional biology, is this down, is this bottom up reductionist approach that precludes top down approaches because these are not strictly reducible to a biochemical event. We have to remember the energetic being that we are, the vibration that we give to this holographic image that's moving around here on planet Earth. And we have to keep things in vibration. You know, and that's how I'm able to move through what appears like a storm right now. And it's not a storm. I've done so much work over the past year of removing so much fluid and systematically. And now that I'm removing it from my brain for for front lobe, some other areas as well, and it's coming down to my face. I don't want to get a weeping face. I want to keep everything clear and the pathways open. I have to be able to take those deep breaths through each nostril and making sure the whole pathway is open and, 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 and they able to flow. And I already have a trap area around one of my eyes, and I'm trying to work to open that up and free that up so it won't become too much fuller than it is right now. So I got to keep all that area they call sinuses and issues and things. When people have that, those lymphatic vessels in the face are not open, not able to do their job. The lymphatic system is struggling. 
I build my lymphatic system up. And now it's working on the face area. And I'm tired a lot right now because the body is in a healing state. So, yeah, I'm in bed maybe by 8, maybe by 9 o'clock. I do what my body says do right now. If it says rest, if it says sleep, if it says what it says do, if it says go out and walk in the sun, put your feet in the grass, whatever it's saying to do that's part of a healing, the healing arts, all these things support the body with coming back into balance. That's what I do. And lately it's been saying Go to bed between this time and do this right here. And you, you you drink water, but I'm telling you, you need to drink some more. And I'm like, drink some more? I'm drinking water. Yeah, but you've been so depleted. You need to drink more. And even though you was drinking water, you've been so depleted, you know, and that's going to help remove waste. And waste? I had a colon hydrotherapy center for 13 years. What are you talking about? I was always giving myself colons and cleaning myself. How can I be backed up? Things can occur. Things can store. Just follow what we're telling you to do. Listen to your body. Your body is talking to you. Cells are talking to you. They're telling you what to do. And you have to be aware of that. That's all I'm saying. And that's what I'm doing. People treat others how they truly treat themselves. That's my question again to you. People treat others how they truly treat themselves. Do they really? Do most individuals want to be treated, healed, saved, be informed, be well from the doctor or practitioner? What do they really want? What do you really want from someone? Nine times out of ten, you can give it to yourself when you sit back and you you be honest with yourself. Because when you go to somebody, you're not honest with them. You're not going to really get what you want anyway. So you got to be honest with yourself and you got to understand. So we're not talking about becoming a medical doctor. We're talking about becoming your own wellness doctor and understanding your own body and the things that you have been doing and what you have been doing and why you chose to do them and what are they bringing you. So like I say, I've been a conscious self-health care educator for a long time. So when the stroke came about, I had a pattern, uh, processes in my life the way I was thinking. And people say, well, maybe that's why you was able to move through it so fast and because your body was in this state so fast and you was able to, and a lot of other people uh, are going down that rabbit hole. They can barely move their home. They can barely eat and things are going on. Yeah, it has a lot to do with how you're thinking and what you're vibrating out. But that doesn't mean that if you were in that state, that you can't shift and raise your vibration and think another way because that's what they call miracles. They happen all the time, like the miracle that I get every time I come on this radio show. No matter what I'm saying, no matter what I'm going through, my body levels off. I'm thankful for this moment of my body being leveled off. I'm here to tell you I'm blessed. Whatever notion is firmly held concerning the body, that it becomes. Whatever notion is firmly held concerning the body, that it becomes. What are you holding on to? What are your notions? What's going on? You can't be in duality. You got to get off the fence. You got to know and understand what your body needs and what your body wants. That's why I'm thankful because now it's time to nourish my body more. Uh, and treat it, treat it as a as a whole, as a complete. So I'm working with all systems now because all organs are removing the excess fluid and the excess sodium, and I need all those lymphatic vessels everywhere to keep pulling and moving and flowing to keep everything going. So who do I turn to for the herbs and to support the healing of every organ in my body? I turn to common sense herbs, and I'm gonna tell you something, family. I had to laugh at myself because I remember we're having a conversation with Barbara tomorrow, and. Um, he was like, you know, I can take upward to 200 vitamins a day. And I'm like, wow, I don't take no 200 vitamins a day. But now that I'm in the process of working at the body as a whole, nourishing all systems so something won't dump somewhere where it shouldn't be dumped and things like that, I'm taking 30, 40 vitamins a day. I'm not up to 200, but I'm taking the ones that my body said I need for the systems, for the organs. And things, are, that's why I'm in a state now of like, I feel like what my body's going through because it's being nourished mentally, physically emotionally, nutritionally, is getting everything it needs all at one time, and it's in alignment. So, wow, family, it's been six months and one year, and I have successfully moved so much fluid from my body that I can not only see the difference, I feel the difference internally. Now it's been about a month that I've started supporting my body with removing the excess fluid, fluid from the brain and the face. It's a slower process than working with the body. However, I see and I feel the changes. This is what I'm talking to you about today. I don't want to move the fluid so fast. 
I don't want to get a weeping face um, with a pus and everything and everything is coming out. So I have to do it in slow. We have many lymphatic vessels in the brain, the face, down the neck. So no stagnation and continuous flow of everything that needs to come through the body. <sighs> the right eye is still filled with stagnation. However, this weekend, things are loosening up, and I was thankful. When you give your body the right building blocks with the right state of consciousness, you can support the body with correcting your cellular malfunctions, pharmaceutical-free, as I am doing. I am thankful for the stroke, as it is called by its disease name. I have been blessed to create a pathway to wellness on how to heal from a stroke with full mobility, with the right state of consciousness. I'm sharing my wellness story right here, my wellness journey and quantum health and healing methods and tools that you can use every day to support you, share with a family member, to share with a friend, to step on up. So thank you for coming to dance with me. Thank you for choosing to be your own wellness doctor. No, we're not medical doctors, but a conscious self-health care educator for yourself. And you're stepping up out of the dark ages of disease care. You're not being a victim to sickness. Cells are going to create cellular functions. You know what's going on with your body. You know how to correct it. The human body will create these cellular malfunctions, which can be self-corrected without the use of poisonous drugs and removal of organs. Just think about it. You can do this. Have you moved through a storm? I invite you to come share your wellness story with me on Facebook. There's a group, Anthology of Wellness Stories. Release 2019. It may be released in 2020. Put your stories in there. When we get enough, we will release that book, Anthology of Wellness Stories, How You Did It. This book, and you can come on the show very soon live. Connect with me through my website. Come on and share your wellness story with someone. Help them move up and live a better life. I also invite you to join my group, Lymphatic Wellness and Nest Health Device on Facebook. Lymphatic Cell, your wellness, join that group and um, move yourself to a higher state of consciousness and feel better. There are several workshops as a workshop, as a lecture, as a lunchtime seminar. You can schedule me for. One is called Relearn, Rethink, Rewrite Your Personal Prescription Plan for Optimal Well-Being. Another workshop, Step Up Out of the Dark Ages of Disease Care. Shift Out of Chronic Disease Care Stress is one title. Move Beyond Gene Therapies to Quantum Biofield Therapies, another workshop. Death, Dying, Disease, Deception, and Pain. That's the workshop that came to me through Prince. We're going to close today's show with a song from Prince. The one song. He talks a little bit, and then he gets in the song. It's a great song to look at yourself and how you're looking at life. And I, They didn't let this song out by Prince, but they let it out of the vault when he made his transition. I got a hold of it. The next thing I know, they put it back in the vault, but I got a hold of it. So when I run it today, I hope they let it up on my YouTube channel. If not, then it'll be on my website. But that's a workshop, seriously. Death, dying, disease, deception, and pain, the four Ds and P. Health is consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. Define yourself, sabotage behavior patterns around health care and lifestyle choices. That's also a workshop. Conscious self health care vision board. Everybody creates vision boards for other things. Create a vision board. I wonder what my life will look like when I bury disease care thinking for the daily care of my human body. Create your vision board of, of health, how you see your body, talking to your cells. Uh, another workshop, Welfare to Wellness, the Live Wellness Conscious Self Healthcare Program, exclusively designed for individuals who receive um, TANF, 
medical support, returning citizens, having worked for the Department of Unemployment Services, instituting a program like that. I still have that program where I support people moving beyond where they lock their brain, their mind down into a certain pattern. I help them see where they are and help them move out of that. So I still offer that workshop now. Creating wellness while working on the job. Health, healing, and conscious self-health care moves. Mental observation and view is extensive for self-success. Wellness is the goal of thought. Repicture sickness and illness. Workshop I do in corporate America. You can do it with you, with your community. The prime variables of cellular ecology. What I share with you right here on the radio show. The life process of a cell. Oxygen, pumps, electricity. Electricity equals power. That powerful formula from Dr. Samuel C. West, Academy of Lithology. Power in the human body and the human body field. Those are just some of the titles of the workshops that I offer. I'm putting myself back out there. Getting ready to do more workshops in the community by supporting people through Black and Eyes, Inc., a nonprofit that we use the skills of chess to work with our youth, young adults, and seniors, keeping them sharp. Matter of fact, in the next coming weeks with the uh, Department on Aging in Washington, D.C., they're having a um, brain tournament between the wars and the seniors, and I'm a judge on that and what they're using the skill of Jeopardy to work with seniors to um, keep them sharp. So this is going to be my first time participating in that, and I'm looking forward to that because, like I say, we use chess to work with our seniors, our youth, and our young adults to keep their minds sharp, to keep them in a state of self-care, self-love, self-respect. When you learn how to play the game of chess, you play the game of life, and you make better moves, you make better choices. Ah, taking those deep breaths. Feeling real good, family? I know I'm feeling real good. It's one thing about coming on the show. You get to really, 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 really feel good. So go to my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-O-U-S, C-I-O-U-S, S-C-L-F, C-A-R-E.com. Check out what I offer. Check out what I can bring to your community, how we can network and support one another. If you want to bring new state-of-the-art um, tools into your um, organization or to your community or to your business, you want to be able to use these particular things I have, the Nest Well in the system. You want to use the Max Pulse system where people can see their auto nervous system, what's going on with the stress level, how the arteries are performing, just so many, many different things. Uh, and you'll give this information to the client. They can read it. They want to have a conversation with you, with themselves, somebody else. They can't. We can bring a better understanding about the body to the individuals because, believe me, modern medicine is changing. Doctors are shifting the energy. They're coming in. They're working together. And, yeah, they got all those cancer centers and things like that. But the other ones are getting smart. They're creating these state-of-the-art offices where you come in and get things done. And, I mean, it's just amazing what's happening with the medical field. So why not step up to conscious self-health care? Become your own wellness doctor and be able to have intelligent conversation when you're honest with yourself and what you need to do to support yourself with reaching a higher vibration. Ah, so take deep breaths, relax through the week, always take a moment to have a conversation with yourself, be it the first thing in the morning, the last thing at night, and the earlier that you can get to bed and rest, it's a good thing for everybody. Always remember to drink plenty of water. You got to sit back and you got to relax and you got to take deep breaths. You got to support the lymphatic system because the bottom line to really what's going on with the body, tired, stress, cells of stress, not getting proper nutrition, not getting water, the lymphatic system is not able to purify the body, the cold is not releasing a lot of the waste in the body. And and we might think because we're going to the bathroom and that we're removing a lot of waste, but that's what keeps the cells from really doing their job is a lot of waste. Like I say, I'm a colon hydrotherapist. I had a colon hydrotherapist for 13 years. I'm cleaning up my colon all the time. But there was some stagnation going on, some things were building up, and just boom, just like that. One set of things happened, made a cascade effect, but I didn't panic. I sat back, took deep breaths, did what I had to do, found out what was going on and created a plan. 
And that's why I'm saying when you come dance with me, you get to do what? A chance to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your very own prescription plan for better health care. And I just say if you want the illusion to think that it includes pharmaceuticals, it's going to get you down the road. It's going to catch up with you. Pharmaceuticals were not designed for the care and the maintenance of the body. We have to understand that. Everything we need comes from nature, comes from combining all the healing arts, bringing everything together within yourself, and having that right frame of thought, that right conscious state. And sometimes we can drift out of it, but it's how you quicken yourself back into that state and that understanding and not giving over to what your body is going through. Karen, how are you doing and how are you able to move the way you're moving? Because I understand what happened, and I'm saying I know my body can self-correct itself. I'm not that old. I'm only 62. I'm not old. That's not old. The body is at the prime of its life. Things are just beginning to open up. And I can create a whole new pathway. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what you can do for yourself. So in closing, family, I want you to step back. Think about your life. Think about who you're giving your power to. Asking yourself the right questions. Are you setting back, learning about your own self more, being your best, best person that you can talk to in the mirror is talking to yourself and being honest with yourself and making the right moves. And if you've been on the pharmaceuticals for a long time and you've been trying to incorporate holistic, it ain't going to work. It's not going to really work. It's going to catch up with you. How can you say that when you say it's my own train of thought? Because sometimes there are some things just can take over. And pharmaceuticals, they take over. They really do take over and create havoc in the body. And that's why you got to move them out with all the good nutrition, the good thought, and not keep confusing the body by putting something in that they're saying is correcting one thing, but it's destroying four or five other systems at one time. I'm serious. It's only for emergency situations, but that's what this show is all about, encouraging you to understand how to do it holistically, energetically, consciously, loving yourself, taking that time. So this song by Prince is about 10 minutes long. It's going to carry us out, but I love it, and I'm encouraging you to sit back and listen to the words. Get out of the struggle, understanding the true tree of life and what it's all about and how to bless yourself. Thank you for tuning in to the Conscious Health Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. I'm your host, Karen Khadijah Davis, folks, right here on NLightRadio.com, the healing frequency where your transformation begins. I thank you for your vibration today. You made me feel so good. I can continue to relax (laughs) as my body self-corrects itself from the storm. So listen to the song, and I look forward to hearing from you next week. And both shows from last week and this week will be up on my YouTube channel. And thank you for the calls to saying I didn't put it up, but I just wasn't in that vibration. And I'll be in it this week. I'm healing, and that's the vibration I'm in. 1999, and the illusion continues. One begs to ask, when will it end? Unnatural disasters happen seemingly every week. Train crashes, shootings, nuclear accidents. Is there any place of refuge one can flee from this insanity? Very few of mankind's creations are designed to make you feel good unless you get pleasure from seeing the human body desecrated by guns, explosions, fights, and any other things these so-called artists create. In the name of freedom, many have used art as a means to destroy the human mind. As an excuse to continue, we hear, art reflects society. How many times has this lie been repeated? Creations are not real, they say, and yet any one of these people can call to mind images and complete scenes of horror in graphic detail. They will carry these so-called unreal creations around with them for the rest of their lives. These images are now a part of their being. In the name of recreation, these people, in fact, are recreating themselves and their own images. Society then reflects art. In man's decision to further separate from God, his recreation of himself leaves him in a dysfunctional state of confusion. The mind becomes a burial ground for dead waste. 
Isolated from the wholeness of God, earth, and his fellow brothers and sisters, this man seeks solace in activities he thinks will stimulate his mind. He then begins downloading into his brain a series of man-made creations designed to destroy it. All man-made creations originate from one of two sources, the tree of knowledge or the tree of life. One of these trees contains deadly fruit, the other fruit of everlasting life. The one who disregards this fact recreates himself and his kind into extinction. You are reading these words on a machine created by man. As you read, you hear a voice speaking to you the words that you perceive. They make sense to you because you understand, stand under the spelling. The words are what binds this spell to your illusion. When you hear the truth, like a memory, you recognize it and this recognition releases you from all illusion. Many languages are brilliant in their attempt to confuse you. Khan meaning against, fuse meaning together. Words in their spell-binding illusions have the power to keep man separate from God. You were born in an all-knowing state of mind. The first words spoken to you begin the spell. The words come from one of two sources, the tree of knowledge or the tree of life. In ignorance or simply lack of respect for God, many use words that confuse the minds of humans and turn them into projections of their own illusions. Because of this fact, many people grow up and blindly assume their pre-selected role under a dictatorship without even being aware of it. When asked what they are doing here on earth, most will answer with statements that do not reflect their natural God-given desires. This creates a pyramid-like structure with the dictator on top and each level under it knowing less and less. Upon reaching the bottom level, which is where the majority is, you will find chaos, disorder, and illusion. With ill as its prefix, illusion is a state of insanity. In the name of democracy, supreme power is vested unto the people in this insane state, instead of God. A future recreated to be ruled by man is one of isolation and despair. Returning the leadership back into God will allow mankind to achieve its original collective goal, which is union with God. Ideas contrary to this goal should not be blamed or persecuted just simply ignored. They originated when man first chose to ignore God's rule. Simply put, in the beginning the human was made perfect in God's image. They had no need for knowledge. They were also given freedom of choice. The tree of knowledge and the tree of life are reflections of this freedom. The human is now a reflection of their choice. They could have simply chose not to choose. God being centrifugal in nature, freedom was the cause and choice was the effect. In knowing their perfection made in God's image, there was no need to choose. In fact, there were no needs. There was only love in an all-knowing state before the fall. The worst thing you can do is give up your God-given right to choose. For in it, you can choose not to choose. Therein is the final judgment. The illusion ceases and you awaken from your dream. Now the healing begins. With an all-knowing mind made in God's image, you can create as your creator God intended. With love, honor, and respect for every living thing in the universe, separation ceases and we all become one being. Sing. I am the universe, the sun, the moon, and the sea. I am the energy that is what I believe. I can be. Come. 
a great show. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in to the Conscious Self Health Care Conversation Radio Show right here on Interline Radio. It was a pleasure having you tuning in. Now, you must tell a friend to tune in. And if you haven't called in and shared your wellness story, don't you think it's time that you help somebody with your wellness story? Call in. Share your story. Join the conversation. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, and I invite you to visit my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com. Or you can just go to the number four, the word C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Leave me some information. I would love to talk with you. And once again, I look forward to you joining us next Wednesday right here on the Conscious Self Health Care Radio Show. It's a conversation where we uplift each other, where we share our wellness story so we can help someone move from disease care to conscious self-health care. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to hearing from you next Wednesday. Hi. I'm a scientist. Hi, I'm a spiritualist. You know, we both act as truth providers for human civilization, except for the fact we are very different. I believe in and worship God. I use a scientific method to understand nature through experimentation and observation. What can science show you that God can't? Well, actually, that's very interesting because modern science is showing a connection between our points of view. Well, how do you explain divinity and the supernatural? Well, interestingly, spirituality and science separated with the advent of Newtonian physics, because Isaac Newton introduced the idea that the universe was comprised of two distinct realms, the invisible energy realm and the physical material realm. And while spiritualists sought primacy in the energy realm, scientists began to emphasize the primacy of the material realm. However, all that changed 100 years ago with the introduction of quantum physics. And in quantum physics, the universe is not a duality, the universe is a singularity. It's all energy. And quantum physicists refer to this energy as the field. 
I'm talking about spirit, you're talking about field, are we describing the very same thing? Invisible moving forces that influence the physical, the physical world? Very interesting! We spiritualists have always emphasized the will of God as the creator and the supreme authority of the universe. Interestingly, Albert Einstein wrote that the field is the sole governing agency of matter. You say field, I say spirit. You say tomato, I say tomato. We're talking about the very same thing.